kind of in an in-between um, thing. I'm gonna plug my phone in to charge at the same time. It wasn't that it was out of charge. It was that apparently, I don't know what happened. I don't really know. So I'm sorry. I'm gonna charge this while everyone's hopping back on. Um, so it doesn't drag. Okay, so I think people are starting to hop back in. I'm going to open it up on my doodad. Hey, 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 hey. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm just logging it back in on my computer. Okay, so I was showing you Look how cool this came out. See, you saw I run it through again in the other way. Super cool. Love how it came out. So you can use it in both ways. You can go one way and then you can use all the excess. And then, I don't know where my wastage went because I just put it down in panic when my video went out. I don't know. But basically, you end up with zero waste. So that's the perfect thing on there as well. Um, so welcome back everyone. Um, super excited about Craft Camp. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to uh, showing you how you fix your boo-boos. Okay, so you might see a gazillion of me for a second. So that's what I normally see. See, I can see everything that goes on. Uh, so I'm gonna go down here. Honestly, YouTube does not love me today because it didn't, well, it didn't love me the other day either. So if you do this and you get a similar issue, um, you wanna grab yourself the deco foil pen. And we're gonna put it over here, make sure it's going, which it is. And then you can just go on here and anywhere you missed, add your deco foil pen. And then when it all goes wrong, like it, <laughs> like it did for me, you don't waste that panel. And then we're gonna let that dry for a second. And like on this one, there's a tiny bit that skipped on here. Just, I think it's because I was using the mink. I honestly don't, well, you know, usually I use my little Amazon laminator. I know there are people who swear by it. So I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Um, the volume shouldn't be lower because I am standing right next to it, so I'm hoping it's okay. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in on this so you can see it a bit better. So I just added the glue to the places that were missing. And we're now gonna put this to the side and let it dry. And then we'll be able to take this piece and we'll be able to add in anywhere that the foil missed. So this pen, okay, is the ultimate boo-boo fixer. It is also the um, ultimate way to add some flair to your stamping. So this is a great way if you, I'm gonna put this onto my laminator to dry. There's another tip, put it on your laminator, it'll dry fast. So you were asking how do you foil without a laminator? I'm gonna show you a few different ways. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Misty and then I'm gonna use, I love this stamp set. This is, um, I think it's called All Is Calm. It has Dotty, who's on your pins in it. I just love this. But I'm gonna use the Christmas tree. I'm going to put this in here and close it down and I'm going to use my palm tree ink which is a gorgeous green to stamp out so you get gorgeous I'm going to put this to the side because I know what's going to happen tonight and it's going to be a mess um, so then you can either take the deco foil pen 
or they do a liquid glue version, both of which we have in the store. So this is the glue. So if you want a little bit more oomph, then this is um, on here. Then I'm gonna just give a little dab dab of my deco foil pen. And I'm just putting it on the balls or ornaments. Every American who works with me laughs the second I say ball balls, but I'm sorry. It's what, uh, it's just me. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut myself a piece of foil. This time I'm gonna use Sunrise, the gold. And I didn't put much on there because I like to do a little bit and then go back if I need to. Um, I think this one's pretty much dry. So I'm going to put switch this out and put this on my laminator to dry because it expedites the drying process. I don't know where I put my scrap. Here we go. So I'm going to take this, layer it on top, take my to the point foam folder and burnish. And then hopefully it's dry. It is pretty much dry. You might have to leave yours a little bit longer. Basically you want it to go clear, but you see like here where I started to skip, it picks up all of that foiling. And you can go back over as many times you need to. You can keep adding glue and burnishing foil. You really want to leave it, I would say, in an ideal world, I'd leave it about half an hour to dry. And then it comes off perfect. Now I know, because a few of you have mentioned here um, about Nancy Stamps, that she does not like Thermaware foils. Personally, I love them. I think they're the best. But that's the one thing about crafting. It's all about your opinion and what you like to use. And what works for one of us might not work for the others. So. I'm just gonna say it's all personal preference. She loves the mink, I don't love the mink. You know, just whatever works. So again, I'm just going over this, give it a really good burnish, peel back, and now I have gold ornaments. Just like that. Isn't that the coolest? So again, super, super um, easy to add details. Um, I showed before the lucky truck that you can take um, the deco foil pen into the clover and you could add that and then put some green foil in. Um, so the one thing to say, Pam, if you trouble troubles finding that sweet spot is leave it longer rather than shorter. It's never really gonna go off um, so it's actually easier to, um, to leave it and then go back to it like half an hour to an hour rather than trying to do it too fast. So I'd actually say just leave it longer than you think. Um, and again, it depends on your temperature, your humidity, but if you put it on top of your laminator and it happens to be on, it'll go super fast. But there is one way to foil, um, that does not require a laminator. There are more though. Thermoweb, which all of these things I'm going to show you also in Acre Forte store. You don't have to go to multiple places because I know as a crafter that's really annoying when they show you and they're like, what if you go to this store, you can buy this bit. And then if you go to this store, you can buy this bit. No, 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 no. Let's just do it all and do it right. They sell this foam adhesive. We picked it up and we added it, I think during holidays, because we started talking about it. So this is another way that you can foil without um, a laminator. So you can take the foam, you can either cut it into strips, you can die cut it, you can fussy cut it. I think you could probably cut it with your Cricut. Um, you just have to work out the settings. So you could really do anything with it. And then all you do is I'm gonna use that same piece of cardstock because I have a few other ways too. And take your 
release paper off and stick it down wherever you want to do it. Peel the other release paper up if you can get it off. I might need my wand. There you go. So peel it up like this. Then take your foil. Burnish it really well. So again, I'm taking my to the point bone folder and this is Teflon. So it's not going to scratch or break your foil. It's just going to give you nice pressure. And remember Greg changed this to give you a really nice um, angle for burnishing. He's doing some tire training downstairs with some guy in Korea. I don't know. Talking about F tire. I kind of tuned out. I said, are you not doing the foiling release with me? He said, no. I'm going to train about tires. I said, okay. I said, we'll have fun without you. So then you do that, and then you just peel off. There we are. You're fine. And then you can foil that, and it's got dimension to it, and you get all of that awesomeness. How cool is that? Thanks, Amanda. She said, it's definitely the best bone folder I own. There you go. So there's another way to do foiling without doing, um, without needing a laminator. I'm gonna show you one more. And then I have a couple of other ideas for you. They also do these really cool super red line tapes and they come in half inch, quarter inch, eighth of an inch, like this. So you just take this and you sit down and you can do like lattice patterns. You could do plaid, you could do stripes and rainbow them. You could do all sorts of different things with them. Um, so this is really fun. So the way I like to do this is, okay, I can't deal with two cross spaces. We might all just have to move downstairs. You might just have to move into my house. Ah, there they are. My favorite way to do this is give it a really good press down and then grab your off the hook tweezers. And if you ever struggle with release papers, these make it so, so easy. Um, Bethany, it's, uh, Sandy says the foam sheets are sold out. They're not. I have about a dozen of them downstairs because I happened to go and pinch these ones earlier. Could you restock them for me if you're still here, please? Um, so there's that. So you expose this. It's super, super sticky. Then you put down your foil and we'll be doing some of this in class. If you're coming to camp, I'm going to do full projects. I'm going to show you how to create a wrapped gift. So cool. Using this technique. Well, that's my idea anyway, unless I come up with a better one before class. So you press this down. Uh, Natty, they're getting it as uh, YouTube members. So if you become a member of the channel, um, it supports us as creators. And then also you get these special emojis and stickers and those kinds of things as well. Uh, Anti-static bags, we also just got back in. They literally came at 5.30 this evening. So give Bethany a chance and she can restock those for you as well. Um, Bethany, if you can drop a chat in there once they're done, that would be awesome. So here I put another piece of... Bethany, you didn't know, honestly, they came at 5.30. I assumed that you were drinking wine by that point because you deserve it. After doing three hours on the phone with me today, you deserved it. Um, but we did create some really cool releases for you, which I'm very excited about. So you can then take a second piece and you could do this however you want. You could do it on the diagonal. You could do it all sorts of different ways. Um, so then you can take this off. And then mat side down always. So pretty side up. Take this, burnish again. And I mean like really, really burnish. I'm giving it a good press, nice and hard. And then you can create fun patterns like that. So you can get this in a half inch, quarter inch, eighth of an inch, super easy. But there is another way to use foil without using a laminator. 
So there's a few ideas. If you don't have a laminator and you want to try out foiling, you can absolutely do this. So the pen, the tapes, the foam, the glue. Um, another couple of options, which we won't have time to do tonight because of the drying time, is we have a Blanco gel and a Duo gel. Now there is also just a transfer gel, but we don't stock it because Duo for me is the ultimate, like absolute ultimate. And then the Blanco is just like the cherry on top. So if you have these two gels and you have a deco foil pen, you really don't need any other foiling mediums. Trust me, you have it all. The glue is a nice to have. Um, and I do use it sometimes for certain applications and I'm sure we'll use it in camp and things. But if you were thinking, well, what do I really, really need? I would say the pen and the duo. And then the Blanco is like the cherry on top. So just to give you an idea, because I know if you're on a budget or your space challenge, you want to know um, you know how that goes as well. So um, just to give you an idea as well. So the time to use Blanco is when you want the color of your foil to really pop. And it's even more um, useful when you use things like the enamels. So um, I don't know if any of you have seen the Rena K um, enamel sheets we have them in the store if you use them with duo gel they kind of get a bit lost in the background if you use them with blanco gel wow they pop particularly if you use a dark cardstock blanco gel and then that as well um that's absolutely an option on there too um tanya if you have need any help with shipping uh, if you email ecom at makerforte.com bethany is right here she can help you um, if you need something. I'm trying to read and go and answer, so I'm doing my best. Um, so the Blanco gel is really great for working on dark cardstocks. Even if you're using this on a dark cardstock, I'd use the Blanco with it because you'll find it pops so much. Um, this is the way to go. Duo gel is cool because you put this through a stencil. I wish I had my samples to hand. Emily's off, she's in Vegas, so I'm kind of flying solo. So Duo Gel is really cool because you put it through a stencil and my idea, and I probably won't get to, it won't dry in time tonight, but I'll do it and then I'll post it in the camp group. How's that? I'll post the finished piece in the camp group um, so you can all see. Um, seeing as you all, all nearly my fellow campers, Blanca equals weight, yes, Randy. Um, so, and I think Correct me if I'm wrong, Amanda, but isn't foil the first subject for camp? I think it was. I think so. I was so excited to do it. So I'm going to stick this on our stencil tool. So I'm lining this up here. I'm also going to use my Wendy Becky station. And my stations arrived today as well at 5.30. I got a huge box of stuff in. Um, so we have more stations and all sorts of stuff. So I'm just going to use this. And let's put some... Oh, oh it's empty. Well, that's not going to work, is it? I don't know why I keep trying. Okay, we're just going to do our best with what's here. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to use the Bokka Stars stencil, this one here. And I'm going to go from, I can never remember what order the numbers go in because I always use it the wrong way around. I'm going from big to small. I'm going this way. And they are engraved in the corners with a number and a triangle. So um, try to bear that in mind when you're working. There's my triangle is top left. I like to arrange them before I start so I know top left top left so I know that they're in roughly the right place so I'm lining my stencil up on my stencil line right here and I'm going to start with some red Alicia nothing to see Alicia sorry we say Alicia I don't know we say Alicia I don't know anyway nothing to see here for July but this is a little bit of telephone box so this is my red It's such a pretty, like, patriotic red, too. It's perfect. 
No, Emily's at a bachelorette party. She's not eloping. Or I think her mum would kill her. Um, so <laughs> there's my red. Now I'm going to take this and again I'm putting my triangle in that top left corner and I totally put this down in the wrong order but you know the nice thing about this stencil is it doesn't matter if you do it in the wrong order it's so forgiving and so you can really play around with the layering and then we're going to use a little bit of acid wash let's move this up so you can see whoops oh and the nice thing about this tool is if it all does that it's like two seconds to get it back in place put it back there put it back there and we're done. So now I'm gonna put in a little bit of blue. You can see the theme of my card here. Sorry, I had the sniffles. And then I'm gonna switch this out. The next one, put my top triangle in the top left again. This Pam is just the regular white cardstock. So this is just our 110 pound white cardstock. And now I'm gonna use some fog. June, Alicia. Love this color so much. It's a great no line coloring color. It's great as a gray, a toner. It's just, I have to say, I'm not a gray person, but I use fog all the time for everything. Okay. And then take this layer off. You see where it's going? Nice kind of patriotic. Now I'm gonna take my final layer, triangle in the top left, magnets on. See how much quicker this is with no tape or anything. Yes, fog will be in your subscription, Pam. Now I'm gonna take some duo. There's no waste of throwing the tape away. I saw someone say that. Um, there's no anything, it's, it's perfect. So then you take your duo and put it over the top on your final layer. I do a really thin coat, like I'm pretty stingy with this stuff. And I'm actually gonna add some texture to it too. I'm kind of just like texturing it up. There we go. And I put all my waste back. And then you're gonna want to wash this pretty fast. Um, now obviously I'm live, so I'm not gonna be able to do that quite as quickly as normal. So here's my, sometimes I'll have a tray of water next to me. That means I prepare the head or Emily is here. I'm going to just take this. I'm not going to do it over this because I'm going to do it on my card. But I'm just going to spray it with Squid Buster. And that will keep it moist enough that while I'm live with you guys, I don't have to worry about it setting. Um, I also then just wrap this. I can take this off. Clean it. Moisten a piece of kitchen towel with your Squid Buster and wrap your spatula in it and it won't all dry on your spatula. And the same with a piece of kitchen towel. You can hear just a few spritzes, lay that on top of your stencil. And then your stencil won't get all icky and it won't um, dry. And then when this is dry, so everywhere I put that gel under here you can then take your foil and either put it through the laminator or put it through your die cutting machine, the pressure, just the plates, foil, 
no dies, no anything. I usually put an extra piece of thin paper or put it in like one of these, one of your transfer dubries. I'm trying not to get gel all over it um, and to put it through. And then the foil will stick to it. So if I can't remember, I think Alicia asked me um, how to foil without having a laminator. So there are tons of ways you do not need a laminator. You don't need special equipment. You literally just need either something with pressure or something with um, heat. So either will work just fine. And burnishing with your bone folder, that counts as pressure. This needs a good clean. Okay, we're not gonna do that right now. Okay, so does anyone have, you can see my comments. Does anyone have any questions? You can see me via the TV for a second. There we go. So does anyone have any questions about foiling that I haven't answered? Um, any questions about summer camp? Uh, don't forget, you can go to, so, Fog is not available yet, Mary. It will come out in June. And if you are on the auto ship, it will auto ship out to you. So um, make sure you can see me too. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's that. Go to summercraftcamp.com to register. And I'll give you till noon tomorrow to register uh, to get your $10 Maker Forte gift card. Uh, so that's super exciting. And then, um, yeah, oh, so excited. I'm going to camp. I'm like a kid. It's terrible. Um, you can also then, um, Bethany's dropped all the links and I put them in the description of the first video. I'll put them in the description of this video too. Um, you can then uh, uh, get all of your foils. I have them all. There is nothing I have shown you tonight that I do not have lots of stock of downstairs. And um, I will just caution you that Emily is away and she of course helps me pack all the orders. So it's just me. And Greg is now banned from packing orders because last time he did them, he fulfilled lots of items you didn't have, like smushes that were on pre-order. So he's banned. Um, so thank you everyone for bearing with us on that one um, and all the things that happened. So I'm very sorry. Um, but yes, I'm so excited. So go to summercraftcamera.com, go grab your foils, go grab your ephemera, go grab your paper, grab your Amazon Basics laminator, not your mink. And um, I am gonna give away though, one whole set of all the papers and a set of um, the new foils and all the ephemera. And maybe if you'd like it, I'll also make up that card that I started making with the red, white, and blue. And I'll put that in the envelope too. Uh, so I'm gonna let Bethany pick if she's still here our winner at random based on the comment she just goes through and she'll pick one um so i'll wait till she puts that down there as well so i'll give her a second to hear this and pick one and everything else um so yeah so we'll wait to see who the winner is maybe she's signed here natalie congratulations natalie um on that as well uh, so super exciting. So we've got all sorts of things coming up. Um, can we put the links, please, Bethany, um, to Summer Craft Camp and Foil? Now, don't forget, um, course holidays comes before we start Craft Camp. And uh, I finished making the stencils today, the exclusive ones. Can I just tell you that the stencils you're getting take eight hours to cut? So we will never ever be able to release them because there is no way I could offer an eight hour cut stencil to anyone outside of our limited edition hollow days box, which is just insane. Um, so you can still register for that too. So there's lots and lots of ways. If you are about crafting with friends and having fun, come join us. And somebody will also win their um, craft camp for free is one of the five golden tickets. Now, if you've already registered for Craft Camp because you wanna get your $10 gift card, you definitely don't wanna miss out. We will refund um, your Craft Camp to you. Don't worry about it. So all of those things are coming up. There's also a season pass um, to, um, to win as one of the golden tickets. There's a uh, new release bundle to win as one of the golden tickets. Um, I think I added up and there's over a thousand dollars worth of stuff in those golden tickets. So five people out of the 150 Hedgehog Holidays boxes we send out will also get something like that. 
So there are lots of ways to craft along with friends. They'll be on the 22nd and 23rd of May. Um, I'm super, super excited. Oh my goodness. Um, I totally want to be Charlie. I'm not sure what Charlie is. Sorry, Lola, I missed it. Unless you're, no, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, I'm thinking that. Um, okay, so yes, lots of fun things going on. So go sign up for Craft Summer Camp and so we can all be campers together and oh it is charlie and the chocolate factory cool i got it <laughs> i love charlie and the chocolate factory um can i put the link for lamentate i'll update the description when i go downstairs in a second i can put the kids to bed first but then once i've updated done that i will um update this i'll put the link to laminator and the foils in the second video as well um so many fun things going on i'm just like a kid in a candy store so yes i just love it um thank you everyone honestly your support is just amazing um we love you all we can't wait and um i'm gonna go and put the kids to bed so thanks for spending some of your monday with me be sure to join me i don't know when we'll next be live but it'll be soon um because i have lots more fun things to share with you so thanks for joining me i hope you enjoyed all of these tips tricks and tutorials don't forget to hit subscribe ring the bell all those kinds of things as well and I cannot wait to see you all later in the week and at camp. I'll post some stuff in there in the next couple of days too. See ya!